it working? Okay. Hi, guys, and welcome back. Some more West of Loathing. I absolutely love this game, and I just cannot stop playing it. So I'm just recording, like, so many episodes, like, ahead. Uh, you know, like, uh, right now, uh, when I'm recording this episode, it's like... Jesus Christ, calm down horse, it's the 22nd of August, so you can kind of figure out what kind of a backlog do I have. Alright, now, let's see what we have here. How long until we get to Frisco? I don't know. Is that like San Francisco? The old metal tramp, yep, the good old bronze ball. Please shut up, dear. What is going on? This guy should never be put in charge of a switch. Too busy playing with Zush to get any work done. Much track late, but she's an expert whistler. Approach the beleaguered looking man with the tiny glasses. Howdy there, who's in charge of this outfit? If I'm being charitable, I'd say that fellow over there in the white hat is the foreman. Points the man next to the huge pile of rocks. And if you are not, so then I'd say that paperback idiot over there in the absurd white hat is the fellow you're looking for. Alright, thanks. Um, wait, I didn't mean to pick again. See, this is a little bit weird how it happens. Say, that's a nice watch. Where'd you get it? I bought it from this gal that uh, runs the store south uh, of here. Name's Button Willow. Button Willow make, make something. Where is this store exactly? Oh, you can't miss it. It's right between a cactus and a different cactus. Oh, yeah, it's like. So easy to spot. Button will make Kiterix store. Thanks. Don't mention it. I don't mention it. It's interesting that we could actually mention it. Hi, are you in charge? I was wondering if there's anything I can do to help you. And you want to know something? I love trains. Oh, ever since I was a little boy, huge, magnificent, roaring iron beasts. They were magical to me, like dragons. When the opportunity arose to make on management of this rail line, I jumped on it like a shot. And you know what I learned? What's that? Organizing, building, and running one of these operations is the most amazing pain in the ass you'll ever, you'll ever imagine. You want to help? Congratulations, you're the new foreman. I'm going to play with my models. Swell. Wow, this guy just doesn't really feel like it, huh? I guess I'm the boss now. The man looks at you up and down. Well, now, I suppose you can't be any worse than the last clown. He extends his hand. Name's me. I'm your assistant. What's the situation? I'm sure you didn't miss seeing this giant pile of rocks blocking the path. The surveyors say there isn't any other suitable mountain pass, so we can't reroute around it even if we had the months it'd take. Any ideas? Well, by my calculation, we could dynamite it clear without too much trouble. The problem is, it'll take a lot of dynamite, a whole year's worth, I figure. We used to keep that much on hand for emergency, just like as this one, but a pack of goblins stolen all the way. Sneaky little vermins. Alright, I'll get it back to you. Glad to hear the goblins are holed up over in Gustafsson Gulch. It's a real rough place. You might want to spend some time getting the lay of the land and honing your fighting skills before you head that way. We plan to go guns blazing. Okay, Gustafsson Gulch. You don't. We don't need that specific dynamite though. Any you can lay your hands on to find, so long as there's enough of it. Ah, oh, I see. So you can actually just try and like. Uh, buy enough dynamite, but it might take like way, way too long. Huh. Well... Is there any way we can figure out how much we need? I mean, can you tell us? Uh, not yet. A mere supply of dynamite. Like, how much is that? Like, 12 of them? You know, because you use one for a month? Wow, something is not going on very... Well, with the game at this moment. Alright, we're back, and hopefully it works fine now. Uh, it seems that the train is not going anywhere. Uh, had a plan for this already. At least they stopped the train in time. What do you think we should do next? I uh, said there was gonna need a whole mess of dynamite to clear the way. Might be one to track that down for him. Any ideas? Bunch of goblins, right? Oh, my rifle works just as good as on. Goblins as anything else. Hmm. Indeed. Hmm. Let's go, Tina. Let's go to Boot One's Willow store first, and we'll see. 
Alright, so in the jittery stop motion way that skeletons do, judging by its hat, it appears to be a skeleton of a bean stinger. You remember the classic saying, old bean stinger die like normal people, but sometimes they keep walking around and casting spells at you afterwards. Trick it and take its hat. So don't do it at all. Your posture is terrible. You look like you die of scoliosis. Puzzle as you move around behind the gravity stroll. Come on, shoulders back, straight up. That's a little bare, but geez, look at that curve. It's a hold still for a second. With a sharp twist, you pop the skeleton's hot skull right off, take its hat, and toss the skull away. The rest of the body scrampers to find it. Cowboy's chef's hat. Oh, cool. Wonder what that does. Let's look at it. Uh, plus two spell damage. Interesting. Well, the floppy derby is still way better, especially now that we lost some moxie. Hmm. Ouch. All right. Wow. Well, this is kind of a store, huh? The first year, I said because you think this barrel is full of pickles, but they turn out to be novelty rubber, rubber pickles. Like pickles, and looks like an empty pickle barrel. Okay. A huge grin on her face, gestures at the goods she's got for sale. Okay, mind your meat. <laughs> Gives you dickering skills. Okay, hammer, that could be useful. Pickaxe, modern snake oiler. Uh, that's also pretty good. Disposable binoculars, we know where you can use that ones. Lock, needle. You can buy a needle, it might come, it can come, it might come in handy. If this uh, lubricant or a lubricant, both in a sense, because it, it, it is a can of lubricant. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Alright, so buy the disposable binoculars, that, and sure, let's grab Mind Your Meat. We have a lot of money, so might as well spend it, you know how they say. Okay, so, let's read this. We got Dickering. Uh, why that roof for 60 meat? Okay, we got some money back already. And we read this, so... Big plan. For that lets you consume more potions in a day. Good medicine or strong medicine. Let's learn strong medicine. Alright, well... It's about as it is for now. Well, actually we... Like, we came here because we... Asked about the... What's it called? Uh, because of, we ask about the clock, the watch, but it seems that it's not really anything here. Hmm. Weird. There's nothing really that I want to sell, right? I mean, there are maybe, but I'm not sure. Well, Tina, it's time to go. Won't go to good stuff goals yet, but let's go to Butterfield Ranch. She told us about that and we'll check it out. Snake Spring over yonder, discover a new map location, Snake Spring. Let's go there right away. Alright, what do we have here? Hmm, dun 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 dun. Coffee Cactus, alright. Oh, that looks terrible. Uh, let's Grab a handful. Alright, we gotta jump him this time. Huh. Will not end your turn. That's interesting. How much life did this have? 22, 24. Um, sure. Let's bust this one. And this will bust. Oh, that guy has 24 attack. Jesus. Need to focus on it. Ugh. Whiff. <laughs> I didn't even know they could miss. Okay, that was a double whiff. Well, do a triple shot on this guy. Awesome. And now shoot this one. Loving the music though. And finish this one. Alright. Got more snake liver, more venom, more medicine. Pretty cool. So it's another place where we can just grind equipment if we want to, basically. Uh, but we don't need to do that right away. But it's good to know. Are there? We need 
it's a tuna cactus, but we need more for that. Uh, bust open your ranch once, it was a real pain in the hint pullers. Setting up a gang where it turns out you are really beat, beat on the hint pullers. Well, not anymore, I ain't. Ha! Huh. Bite on the ass, huh? Alright, let's go to the Butterfield Ranch. Oh, literally find something every time we travel. Store up north, it charred around the edges, it's like it got blown up by an explosion. Mark the address, Dino Dynamite Dance, Discount Dynamite, Dare House. Huh. Alright. Hello, sir. Okay, we'll deal with this cow then. Let's triple shoot it. And finish it! Oh, it still looks strong. Oh god, that's a lot of damage. Shoot it! Alright. Roasted cow tongue, extra thick leather. Uh, Susie has also become stronger, that's very good. Hmm. What does this, this do? Mysticality, alright. Good. We can find more needle, needles in the haystacks. Uh, length of rope. Exactly sure why would we need that for, but I guess. And this has been burned to bits. Oh, something has been buried here. A red hot poker. Is this deals hot damage instead of physical? Oh, I see. Well, the fancy knife has the moxie skill, so, you know. Notice some words carved into the side of the outhouse. Curly was here. Wait a second. Curly Curly Butterfield, the legend of the Curly's meat? I mean, it's worth investigating. You don't have to actually go inside the outhouse because once you open the door, you're, you find the maps crash onto the inside of it. it. Reveals the location of a mine just west of the ranch, labeled the Cold Ridge. Okay. Three strange triangular icons. Hmm, we need lock picking to do that. You see that every single cow in the battlefield area here is now an ungulate, an infernal cow spirit bound in stone. They're not dangerous unless you get near them. Okay, walk among them, them. Finish it. Oh, right. Brass ball ring. Okay. So, um. Wait. Is, did it disappear or is it like um, the same? What does this do? Uh, okay. What if we uh, walk among them again? Such a weird sound. Menundo Jod. Alright, she also got stronger. What the fuck is this? Oh, Moxie again. Well, it doesn't seem that like we're making progress here, so we'll go back. Have nothing to churn. <laughs> sure, alright, well... We check this place out. And I'm counting, I ain't gonna let them get away with this. Why do you think... What do they... Why do they do it, do you think? Ain't no reason, it's just what they do. So I have a reason to those beasts, it's hog feathers on the duck feed. You know, another thing that is like really ridiculous is that all this last like three or four episodes we all done them in one single day so uh yeah i don't know if i can it's neither wire to detonate nor connected to an actively sparkling fuse well got more dynamite hey dance dynamite huh a year supply of dynamite for only four thousand five hundred um uh, meat huh oh all right we know uh, how much money we need if we want to do it uh, this way. It's interesting that we cannot steal it from him. Oh, gunfire draws your attention. Contrary to where you find goblins shooting a large pistol with some boulders. Um, okay, let's talk to it. You are to excusing me? Oh yes, hello, what? Hello? The rocks, why are you two shooting them? For practices, the cracks in rocks to shooting for a crack shot. I to sing. Won't struggle them. You do look very good at shooting. Can you do hitting that the small small crack on the rock over there? A far one, a difficult shooting, I will try. Then can you rifle through his gear and feel for his lunch? <laughs> Stole his sandwich. Wow, okay. So what's up with this place? 
have fun with your rocks also I'll watch over the horses some of those rocks might be valuable well if you bring them here and they're on the level I'll help you carrying them back right thanks hey more beer cactus all right let's see what we have inside all right oh there's a row of lockers here that must have been used for storing the personal epics of the Fellers who used to work this mine. The first one is labeled Ellsbury Wim and doesn't have a lock. Label and second one is covering some kind of white goo, and the third one is loose Ben. Okay, let's open the first one. Elberry's helmet and a bottle of Laudanum. Second one. A uh, skeleton covering the same white goo that was on the outside. Now you get it because I must have died. There is co-workers play the prank on him when they stuff it into his locker and fill it with shaving cream. They danger stuff into the locker and then fill it with shaving cream. I die from that, yells the skeleton, confirming both your insight and his vengeless, vengeful murder, murderous intent. Alright, well we'll finish him off then. He has a lot of HP. Oh, this should put him down easily. Oh, we have something new there. Alright. Skeleton parts. Let's see what are these. Plus 2 armor and this. Plus 5 armor. And we have the third locker. Don't know the combo. Well darn. Heart looks abandoned in a hurry. Unrefined meat. Exposed meat vein, but we no longer have the pickaxe. Can go deeper inside. Very good shaft. Well, we can tie a rope. Sure is uh, dark here. Hmm. This uh, is a spot where the curly toilet notes mention. Okay, let's dig it. We got Curly's compass. In lot because this thing points every way, uh, every which way but north. Generally northwest ish. Interesting. You can go even deeper inside. That is ridiculous. Whoa, okay, it's very smoky in here. I don't like this. What is this? It's only partially real. I don't like this spiral one bit. Okay. Making you feel strange. Alright, that's a lot of meat. Hey, look at that. Gotta, gotta grab this pickaxe. Hmm. Like fluidosis from this vein. Take the fluid. Don't know why we've done that. Uh, sure. Guess might as well go before we, uh encounter something worse from over there and maybe feel very creeped out I'm getting a lot of unrefined meat but I'm not sure what we can use it for and we don't know the combination for this one so it is unfortunate unfortunate indeed god damn that's a lot of uh, unrefined meat nuggets guess we can sell them for more than that alright so uh, old Millionary and Potemkin Gang are the two places where there are gangs for Fort All Dead. We know about that from Fort Cowardice. Uh, old Mission, I forgot what was that for. So let's check uh, it first because it's the closest and then we'll see. There is an initial site, an old boat out in the middle of the desert. If this were a beach, you'd call it a beachhead. You can't call it deserty because there's someone in it. That someone is a skeleton wearing a helmet with horns on it. It looks pretty bored and highly polishing the dragon head. I think things might be for dead for for a very long time. Pickpocket the skeleton. Huh. That's very well unlikely. I mean, he isn't actually wearing any clothes except maybe some rags. They aren't going to have uh, intact pockets. And anyway, what would the skeleton have in his pockets worth stealing? What are you doing? You're going for it anyway. Okay, I have no idea how I managed to steal that skeleton's gold suit without him noticing, but I can't deny him I'm impressed. Better be. Alright, what is up with this place? Hmm, still cannot harvest this. Uh, I ain't the churchy sort, I think I'll wait 
uh, here and catch up on my Whitling. Okay. Mm. Okay. Pew pew. Oh, because there are pews that they sit upon. Get it? Uh, an empty relic case with a spot for a skull. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, what's wrong sister? They came back, they came back and took them. Couldn't stop them. Well, slow down. Okay, what happened? The holy relics! The saints just torn up out of the catacombs and took them back. Wow. I didn't know what to do. I thought maybe they'd fire me if I tried to stop them. The carnival will be here any minute. What am I going to do? Start to take a deep breath and try to calm down. Okay, what's your name? I am Sister Mary. Miss Charlie, now what? what's this about saints? Missions or mission is to protect three sacred relics. I'm the relic keeper. It's my specific job to look after them. Wait, they call you Memento Maria? She shows you the rule where she keeps stuck in her seat. No, they don't. Okay. So what happened? The saints. Oh, it's too horrible. They just they came to life somehow. They came up out of the catacombs. All this, all skeletal and ghastly looking. I mean, it's probably blasphemy to say that, but I nearly fainted. Took back their relics? Yes, and if they aren't recovered before the colonel gets here, I'll be in much trouble. Is there? Well, actually, he's a month, month overdue, but he's probably not all that urgent, but still. Alright, I'll try to get them back for you. Oh, wait a second, are you going to have to fight them to get the relics back? Because that's probably blasphemous too. I mean, probably, but if black magic brought them back to life, that's like super blasphemous, right? So it evens out. Carl is going to want to have a very long talk about this, but go ahead, do what you must, I suppose. Where are we going to find them? Good luck down there. Oh, they're here? Hmm. It's empty. Curious. Damn. Carl has a gold tooth. It's twitching. Okay. A uh, souvenir spoon. Sounds like gibberish, creepy gibberish. Serial number written below. Oh, hey, there's where you found the. Oh, okay. We uh, put the skull with the weird thing there. It was in your offhand. So, um, like this one. Wait, which one is the offhand? Uh. Oh, this one. So this one gives us plus 3 at melee attack and plus 3 damage. We can put these and gives us plus 3 moxie. I think it's fine. Pile of skeletons. Well, we can pick it apart. Creepy whispering stone. Uh, listen to it. A storm. It's in a weird dialect. You can barely understand the way. No, it's just a thick accent, it's all. Carefully to the stone over the course of a few minutes, we're so resolved into comprehensible English. Some of the stone is weeping, it turns out to be pretty boring. It's mostly just trivia about the geology of Tennessee. See you unless you're planning spelunking trip soon. Oh well, at least you can understand the accent now. A fucking skull whispering. Wow, okay. She's fluent in the specific dialect of the dead kick it over. Alright, fine. I'm gonna jump him this time. Oh, what could possibly go wrong? Let's see which is the strongest. This one, huh? Can, uh, uh, call in that thing. Let's just shoot this one. Oh, we shot through it. That's pretty cool. Finish it? Good. Oh, spooky! Spooky! So spooky! Alright, let's shoot this one! And finish it! I forgot to check what the rope does. Alright, let's shoot this one! What does the rope do? Target will be disabled. Oh, I see. There's only one left anyway. And just finish it off. Yeah! Did it! More small chips, more handful loose teeth. Can also stop this one. Very easily. Oh, nice one. Golden tooth. Got a lot of gold tooths. How much value do they have? 
There's 15 meat. Mm. I expected more. This one is whisper to them. Oh, they set the left of whisper to them. Wow, that's weird. This way to the Pasillo de Santo. Uh, it's a plaque. Read, here lies Saint Pifus. After he died, his body kept trying to rise to heaven, but it was so heavy it just kind of flopped about around the punch. Enter him in a big stone sarcophagus to put a stop to it. Okay. Ooh. Here lies Santa Cordata. She was drawn and quartered by heretics, and then the quarter that had her head on it was beheaded. The dismember was so effective that nobody was able to get her body to stay together because she was just bones. Weird. And this is Saint Pope. Or impersonating the Pope, but there was some kind of bureaucratic issue, so they weren't able to unbeatify him. I am Pope, seriously. Well then, how about we talk about this? Uh, in the days, just keeps going on this Pope, just ignoring you. How can someone look so smug without even having a face? Insult him! Unleash a torrent of insults that would make a sailor blush, and a sailor's not ashamed of a sailor. Saint Pope has no it looks like you finally managed to get him Mac make him fight you. Alright. Has a lot of HP, but we have this. Alright. Oh, and he's dead. Got the pelvis and fake Pope hat. What does this do? Armor and Moxie might be something that we could use. Wait, is there anything else here? Just to make sure. Mm, no. Alright, check on on this thing. Saint appears to be resting in pieces. Reassemble it. You got the bone assembled correctly and then fight it. Don't fly apart, man. Seems like you only accomplished to make them angry. Oh god. Oh yeah, this is uh, unusual. Well, shoot through them. Oh my god, that's a lot of bones. Alright. Oh, mysticality. Okay. The bone hits us. Ow. Okay. Um, target will get wet. Uh, let's um, fire the hot bullet. And then shoot this thing. And finish it. Alright, it's on fire. That's pretty mysticality. It gives mysticality to the broken pieces, weirdly enough. Okay, let's try and finish this one. Alright, the head is down. Somehow the rest of the body parts are still working. Healed up. Alright, well, you asked for it. Um. Alright, pretty cool fight. Ugh. We almost got it. Let's incapacitate it. Oh, nice moves. Stun. Okay, and now we can just finish this one. Uh. Fire. Yeah, we did it. That was pretty cool. Her skull and her ring. Plus two mysticality, plus two speed. Uh, okay. Might be good. What do we have here? We knew how to build a heavy stone sarcophagus back in the day. Let's open it. Enforce the heavy stone sarcophagus of the hole and there's a skeleton inside. Holy crap, his bones are huge. Okay, well, wake him up and fight him. Whoa, he is gigantic. Okay, shoot. Wow, that did not kill it. But this, finish it. Alright, St. Pippa's finger and thigh. That was awesome. Plus two muscle and oh, that's like an actual—it's an actual uh, 
weapon that gives us um, not only that it deals more damage, but it gives us more muscle and more HP. Might be worth. Alright, well, we did it. That wasn't too bad. Let's just go. Is this uh, still empty? Weird. Let's go, return these to their place, and uh, yeah. Okay, alright, and done. Cover all the regs. Oh, praise be, thank you. I'm glad to have help, sister. Must reward you for your uh, for your efforts, though. I don't have much, but these boots look like they might hit you. Silk non boots. Okay, what do these do? Maximum AP and Moxie. All oh, right, well they're definitely better than what we have. So let's grab them. Well, we've done this for whatever it's worth. Uh, yeah, let's go, Tina. I guess we'll just go to the old millinery, mi millinery, and uh, we'll just... Uh, oh, old mission nested among the pines. Dude, there's so many places. And we'll just end this episode here. Oh, that's this one. It's over the nose. I think there's another ranch in this area. I don't know nothing about it. It's pretty new. We'll take a look about it. Hmm. Alright, so we know about another ranch, Lazy Dude Ranch, and we have this place that we'll need to check out, but that'll have to wait until next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. Oh, this game is gigantic, and I love every second of it. Hope you guys enjoyed watching, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to see more, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.